What's going on you guys? Welcome back to Cloudless and Indy. It is, I think in the 50s today. Man, it is windy, but I tell you what, it is another beautiful day in Indy. I think I've already said it. Welcome back to Cloudless and Indy. I'm Cloudless and we're in Indy. And fortunately for you, this is another spirit review. But before we roll that intro, I want to give you guys an update. Of course, my last post was Tuesday of last week. I don't remember the, the exact date that was, but I did, in fact, complete the Sun King um, or the Indiana Brewery Series Sun King 5K. So I'm going to roll the intro, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about that, and then we're going to get to the spirit review. So let's roll it. Alpha All right, you guys, welcome back. So, as I said in the intro, I successfully completed the Indiana Brewery Series, the first race of the year uh, at, the fi at, at Sun King 5K uh, on the 23rd, so this past Saturday. Uh, it, was, it was really good. So my plan for that video release is that I'm going to make two videos, okay? So the first video is going to be a short video um, where I'm basically going to be covering the highlights, just getting to the points. I'm um, just talking about the day in general, but it's going to be a short video, like I said. While the second video is going to be a long video, I guess a long form video, where I actually. What? Shit. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> like I said, it is windy out here, you guys. Wow. All right. Um, <laughs> where was I? Where was I? Uh, yeah, so the second video, long form, I'm basically getting, going to be doing a, essentially a play-by-play -play of the 5K, uh, what I did after, that sort of thing. So um, watch out for that. Hopefully I'll be able to get that released um, later this week, hopefully by Thursday, if not Friday. But, uh, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Whipped out of the way, let's get to this uh, review here. So what am I reviewing today? Well, according to the website, this is the cocktail of the summer, okay? And if you know what I'm talking about, then you already know I'm talking about the Bramble Mule by Cardinal Spirits in Bloomington, Indiana. Yeah, so the main cocktail, well, not the main cocktail, but the main spirit in this uh, canned cocktail here is there, I believe it's called the Black Raspberry Vodka with hibiscus. So, I guess with that being said, I actually did some B-roll where I read out the whole thing. So I'm gonna play that right now, then we're gonna come back to the scan. Bramble Mule is without a doubt the cocktail of the summer. This easy three ingredient cooler is a twist on a Moscow Mule. Instead of regular vodka, we use our Bramble Black Raspberry Vodka, a flavorful spirit infused with whole black raspberries and hibiscus. Lush black raspberry vodka meets zippy ginger beer and tart lime in a cold copper mug. When you make them with friends, you'll feel like you've nailed the whole easy breezy summer entertaining thing. Bramble Mules are a bestseller at the distillery and here's how to make one at home. All right, welcome back. So let's go ahead with this can design here. I think, so if you're familiar with Cardinal Spirits, spirits <laughs> such as their um, such as their vodka, their black raspberry vodka, and their triple sec, I think each bottle has a different design on it. And I think that this triangle here is on their raspberry vodka, the black raspberry vodka bottle as well. Um, but let's look here. Delicious, award-winning vodka with raspberry, ginger, 
and hibiscus ready to drink cocktail 12 fluid ounces 355 milliliters and an abv or an alc at 6.5 percent all right so we got some information on the can here it says bramble on fresh raspberry tongue tingling ginger bright hibiscus and delicious award-winning vodka go ahead you deserve the best well thank you i, I think so as well okay <laughs> <laughs> if only, if only the world also um, saw that. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, there's not much, um, much more information on the can besides produced by Cardinal Spirits, Bloomington, Indiana. This is vegan and gluten-free for you guys out there. Okay, um, please, uh, yeah, enjoy responsibility. Please recycle. So, so yeah, let's uh, go ahead and just get to the pour. As you know, I'll be using my wine in wine glass, okay? Actually, real quick before I get to this part, I just want to let you know that I got this can from the Sun King Karma location because that's, as you know, in my previous videos, that is where I work. Um, I'm not sure if they have this at the other locations though, um, but apparently this is very popular at Karma Spirits. Or at least at their tap room location. So let's uh yeah, let's do this. Let me see if I can get close to you guys here. Oh look at that. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure if you guys can see the color there, but on my end, it is quite red. I want to say almost a deep red slightly transparent i can see my logo the the indiana wine and logo through the glass um both here as well as through the camera okay there is light carbonation as well i really hope that it's not too windy um and the audio sounds too good but it is starting to brighten up a little bit <laughs> man it's a beautiful day today uh let's get to the aroma here mm. I tell you what, that ginger is very strong. Right away on the nose, you can smell the ginger. Yeah, the wind is literally blowing everything around here. I had to reinforce the uh, my tripod <laughs> on the table. Because <laughs> obviously the camera fell over. The hammock's blowing. I'm not sure if I can really smell the raspberry maybe it's because i'm outside there's a lot of smells going on i mean the, the sweet is very i mean the the smell is sweet but as i said the ginger is just very strong but it's like a soft ginger it's not too astringent at all oh wow mm. now i'm not necessarily sure about raspberry maybe i'm tasting raspberry but i'm definitely tasting a berry a sweet berry. Uh, at first, what comes to mind is blackberry, but I think I think what I am tasting is in black the black um, the uh, raspberry. Of course, in the description, they do call it a black raspberry. I, I kind of wonder what's the difference between a black raspberry and a raspberry. <laughs> Maybe I'll post <laughs> the difference there, but. Hey. And as far as hibiscus, I'm not I'm not entirely sure. But as I said, it's you definitely taste the berry or the, or the raspberry. Mm. But the ginger is very prominent, very prominent ginger there. Yeah, that yeah, that ginger is very, very aggressive. But I tell you what, this is a um, it's very delicious. It's a very delicious um, cocktail here. You know, canned cocktail. I don't, yeah, I've never had this before personally, and I can't remember the last canned cocktail I've had if you don't count the seltzer. Um, no, no, I guess that's not true. I mean, I have had canned margaritas, for sure, but of course those are tend to be sweet. Um, pretty smooth, almost like drinking juice. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't think I've ever had a, you know, a canned mule before. So, 
but yeah, I think I think that's pretty much it for this. I mean, there's not really much. There's not really much to it. As I said, I'm not getting a lot of notes from this, other than of course the raspberry um, and the ginger. But the ginger is just very strong in this cocktail. It's still enjoyable. I think that this would be more enjoyable uh, personally on the rocks, right? I'm, I'm drinking it out of a wine glass here, but. Yeah, yeah, and also another thing I want to add though is that um, a lot of the flavor, uh, a lot of the sweetness, is hit at the front of the palate, and I want to say kind of dissipates, uh, you know, towards the end, and then of course on the back of the palate or on the finish, it's very, very gingery. Lots of ginger on the back of the palate, there. and it's, it's it's lasting. I tell you what, it's very long lasting. But still, very delicious. I would 100% order one of these. Uh, with that being said, I know a lot of people, they, look at the, they come to Sun King, right? And they look at the menu and um, they're like, oh, well, they see the meal and they only, I, well, I think they offer a different thing. I'm not 100% sure. But I guess the point that I'm getting at instead of stuttering is that this is an option right? You can ask for the bramble mule. Mm. Yeah, I mean, sure, the bartender can technically make it. I'll post a recipe um, here. They have it on Cardinal Spirits website. So, I mean, you can choose to do the bramble mule or just get the can. Either way, I don't think you'll be disappointed. With that being said, this has been Cloudless and Indy, <laughs> reviewing the Bramble Mule by uh, Cardinal Spirits down in Bloomington, Indiana. And to finish off this video uh, and move on to the next one, cheers, salud, slancha, skol, nastrovia, prost, peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.